Now we'll go ahead and go a little bit over the display modes. So if I go right here to display, this will show me that I can display my digits here as fixed, scientific, engineering, or all. So if I go, let's, let's say that I do, I choose all. Now right now, zeros are just the whole numbers, there's no fractions, but if I enter something like pi, now pi shows up with all of the digits there. If I do something like fixed mode, it will prompt me and ask me how many digits I want to display. So let's display, oh, I don't know, three. Now it will show me the digits of pi up to three digits after the decimal point. It rounds on the display, but it's not actually rounded in the calculator's memory or operations. I can show all of it by going with blue shift to show, and it shows me the entire value that is stored to the entire precision that the calculator is capable of. Now, let's say that I have something like, oh, I don't know, 12, uh, 12 times 10 to the third. So with all mode, it displays 12,000. If I go into scientific mode, and let's say again we want yeah, three, di three decimal points after the, or three digits after the decimal point is fine. It does one digit before the decimal point with as many precision as I specified after it, and then the power that it's raised to. Engineering mode is similar, but it does it in powers of three, and that's because in engineering we often use mega or kilo or micro, which are powers of three. So if I change that display mode to engineering, and again, say I want three decimal points. Now it has that same number, that 1.2 times 10 to the fourth, or 12,000, as 12 times 10 to the third. So very useful for engineering calculations. Another display option that you have here is if you go into modes, you can change your separator to a comma or a decimal. So I know in some other countries they use a comma as the separator rather than a period. So go back to modes and period. And then when you change your mode to degree mode, like let's say that I'm in degree mode right now, and I enter in pi, and no, no, let, let's enter in 180, and then take the sine of that, that gives me zero. Sine of 180 in degree mode is zero. Now if I was in radian mode, notice I get the little enunciator here now that says I'm in radians. If I'm in degree mode, nothing shows. But I'm in radian mode, so now I do pi, and let's go ahead and take the sine of that. And it says, you know, one, one, negative 115.8 times 10 to the negative 36. That's just a rounding error in the calculator, but that is as close to zero as you can get. And then, of course, if you are in gradient mode, you will have the grad enunciator shown up there at the top. So those are the various modes that you can put your calculator into. It's good to be aware of those.